Hey friend, today I'll be showing you the best advanced FQL algorithms to solve this bad case on the Rubik's Cube. I'll be showing you how to solve it from your front right, front left, back right, and back left slot, as well as what other ways you can use if you have the mirror case, which is this case instead. If you guys want to skip to a specific case, all the timestamps will be in the video description. Alright, so first off, you're going to start with this FQL case in the front right slot. This is probably the most standard algorithm. So, from this angle, you do a U move, and then you insert this corner, like so. You do a U prime, and then you solve this after case, like so. So once again, R U prime R prime U prime, R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime, and doing it fast will look something like that. And then the next algorithm for the second algorithm for this exact angle, if you have this case but instead it's in the bank left. Instead of having to do the other algorithm, from this angle, you can save a bunch of moves by doing R2, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R2. So that's actually less moves than the first algorithm, and you help it solve it when it's in this AUF right here. So once again, R2, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R2. And you get fast, will look something like that. And when it's in this angle, for a third algorithm that you can use, if you if you guys don't like the R2 algorithm, you can use this algorithm, which is the anti soon algorithm. So from this angle, you do anti soon from the back. So you do R prime U to R, U R prime U R, and then you cancel into inserting this after pair. And doing it fast will look something like that. So when you have this after case and you see that none of your edges are oriented, so if you do the ordinary algorithm, you end up with a dot OLL, which is usually a pretty bad OLL to deal with. And also, you can insert it with a sledgehammer to avoid the dot OLL, but I personally don't like the algorithm. So from this angle, what you can do instead is do a hitch, which is F, R prime, F prime, R. And that sets it up to the three move insert, like so. And doing it fast will look something like that. It's a pretty fast way to help avoid the dot OLL. Alright, so now I'm going to show this case in the front left slot. So, in the front left slot, one of the main algorithms that most people use from this angle is to do F, U prime, R, U, R prime. You can see we have a three move insert, and then we insert it with R, U to R prime, F prime, like so. Once again, F, U prime, R, U, R prime, U, R, U to R prime, F prime. And doing it fast will look something like that. Now, if you notice that you have your front and right slot open, so in this case, if your front right is open, and then you have this after case, Another algorithm which is faster, but unfortunately it uses up this F2 slot, is you do R prime F R2 U R prime to pad this up, U2 F prime to insert. Now unfortunately this does disturb this slot. So you can only use this algorithm if you have the front right slot open. And doing it fast will look something like that. Now, if your front right is solved, but you have your back right slot open. So instead of this slot being unsolved, you have this slot being unsolved. You can also utilize this back right slot to save a few moves. So from this angle, you can do F, and then instead of doing U prime, R, U, R prime, from this angle, you can just do R prime, U, R2, U2, R prime, F prime to insert it. Once again, with this slot open, F, R prime, U, R2, U2, R prime, F prime. And doing it fast will look something like that. And then for the last slot, we have two additional algorithms which saves a few moves compared to the first L. So the first algorithm goes like so. F, U, and then you do a H, which is F, R prime, F prime, R, U2, F prime, to insert it. Once again, F, U, H, U2, F prime. And then for the last algorithm, which another YouTuber, Brian, sent on me via Discord, from this angle, you can do F, S prime, R U prime R prime S to pad up U prime F prime. Once again, you do F and S prime at the same time. R U prime R prime S U prime F prime. Now, personally, I don't really like this algorithm, and I can't really do it very fast. Like that's really the fastest that I can do, and I can't really execute this algorithm faster than the previous algorithms. So personally, I would recommend the previous two algs. But considering a lot of people like this, I thought I would include it in the video as well. Alright, so now we're going to get into some of the more exciting ones. So if it's in the back right slot, so you have this after case, but it's over here in the back right slot instead. So if you have this after case, like you have it in the left side, like so, instead of having to like rotate like that and then just solve it like so, from this angle, what you can instead do 
is a trick that I actually showed before on my second channel. It's R prime F prime, Y dar U prime Y dar prime, F two, and then you insert this with U prime R, like so. Once again, R prime F prime Y dar U prime Y dar prime F two, U prime R. And doing it fast will look something like that. Now, if you have this case, but instead of here, it's over here. Another elk that I've seen some people use is R prime F R prime F prime R two, and then just insert this after pair into the back. Now, if you don't like doing this finger trick, you can start with your thumb on top and then do R prime F R prime F prime push R two, and then just insert it like so. And doing it fast will look something like that. So now I'm going to show you another way that you can use if this slot is open. So instead of doing this algorithm which I showed earlier, if you have this slot open, what you can instead do is just insert this corner here with R U prime R prime U prime, and that sets up this F dot case. For now, for those of you who don't know, this F dot case can be solved with S to pair it up R prime S prime. So once again, R U prime R prime U prime S R prime S prime. And doing it fast will look something like. So I'm going to show one last algorithm for this case, which once again requires this slot open. So you, once again, you do a H, which is F, R prime, F prime, R, and then you insert this F star pair with wide F, R, wide F prime. Doing it fast will look something like that. All right, so now we're going to show this F star case in the back left slot, which personally I actually find this to be the worst angle to get this F star case. So it's when all these colors right here line up in a big 2x3 block. And then you have to insert it into the back left slot. I actually showed how to solve this F door case on my Instagram a while back. It's m underscore cubers dot official. Feel free to follow me. I've just hit 500 followers and I post a bunch of like updates, sneak peeks and all that kind of stuff. So feel free to follow that. Alright, so from this angle, the algorithm that I mainly use is I'll do a lefty zoom. So I'll do L prime, U prime L, U prime L prime, U2, L and that passes up and I can just insert it into the back. So if I can do a bit of a cancellation, so I just started off like that, L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L prime, U2, and now I cancel into inserting it with L2, U prime, L prime. And doing it fast looks something like that. So if you have this F pair but it's over here and you want to save a few moves, from this angle you can actually do um, what I did for the front right slot. So you know how from the front right slot with this algorithm, yeah, you can just do that same algorithm but from this angle. So it'll look like this. L2, U2, L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L2. Like so. And that helps you save a bunch of moves from the previous algorithm. And doing it fast will look something like that. Alright, so those are the algorithms for this F dot case. And now I'm going to show you how to solve the mirror, which is this F dot case. So you can see for this F dot case, you have the corner on the right and then the edge in the middle. And for this case, you have the corner on the right and the edge over here right next to it. So you need different algorithms to solve this F dot case instead. Alright, so starting off from this angle. Now, I'm going to say this is probably one of the more well-known algorithms to solve this F dot case. So I've seen plenty of videos on this trick and I've known it for a long time as well. From this angle, you do F, reverse sexy move, F prime, and then just insert this F dot pair. So it's F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, and then R, U prime, R prime. And doing it fast looks something like that. Now, there's another F door trick that you can use for this same case. So, if you put this in the back over here, you can do R, U, R prime, and that sets it up to this F door case. And you can solve this with a sledgehammer and then insert it, like so. So, once again, R, U, R2, F, R, F prime, R, U prime, R prime. And doing it fast will look something like that. Now, if you have this F dot case in the front left slot, um, of course, a way that you can use is just using the algorithms for the first case, which is like so, which is a pretty standard alg. But from this angle, what I find to be faster is doing the H algorithm. So I do F prime, Y R U, Y R prime, and then just insert this F dot pair. I find that it's more move efficient and faster for me to execute. And doing fast will look something like that. Now, if you have this in the back left slot, so if it needs to go into there, you can do the mirror of the case for the back right slot just now. So you do Y dar U prime R prime U R U2 B Y dar prime. Once again, Y dar U R prime U 
A, you choose B, why not prime? The digit files will look something like that. Now, if you have this after case in the back right slot, from this angle, what you can do is R2, U2, R, U, R prime, U push right there, then R2. And do it fast work, something like that. And then another out that I like to use from this case is doing soon and then cancel into inserting it, which is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R2, U, R. Because that's regripless, you know, for the first algorithm, you have to start with your thumb on top. For this algorithm, you can solve it right like here, like so. And then if you have this case, but it's all the way over there, instead of like doing a U and then doing one of the other algs, from this angle, if you see that you have this line right here, and you want to solve some edges, from this angle, you can just do R prime, F prime, U prime, F R, then insert this F door pair. So once again, this pair in the back, and then you notice that you have this one center and one edge, you do R prime, F prime, U prime, F R, and then just insert this pair, and then you will solve your edges. And do it fast for something like that. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on how to solve this after case. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.